Well, good evening, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 9th of January, Sunday evening. I uh, hope you're staying healthy out there with all these uh, type A flu bugs, COVID, and uh, just general purpose colds out there. So, again, stay healthy. It's hard to do uh, this time of year. Uh, looking here, uh, again, we'll look at our recap of the world uh, here last week, week ending 8 January. So this big map here is the temperature trends versus last year. How our retail customers would look at the weather. Here in the U.S., cold, 5.9 degrees colder than last year. Coldest in four years, 16th colds in 37 years. So below average national temperatures. 100% wetter than a year ago, 18th wettest in 37 years, is about average. And a whopping snow, 646% more than last year, most in five years, 10th most in 37 years. So we continue our snowy start here to January, above average on that front. Canada, pretty much wall-to-wall -wall cold, not hard to find the polar vortex chunk uh, across North America here. Canada, coldest in 28 years, so very, very cold up there. Uh, UK, a little bit warmer, still about average. Uh, Europe, warmer than last year. Russia, a little bit warmer. China, much warmer. Australia warmer, India and Brazil cooler uh, maps inset left are the precip and temperature trends versus average. And again, we'll talk about this polar vortex here because uh, it's been uh, pretty symmetrical, but it has wobbled and where it's wobbled has been pretty much North America uh, here in the U.S. Uh, because of this, in part, we're still continuing our La Nina drought-like cycle here. Drought status as of 4 January here across the U.S. shows that at 72% of the country is in still in the, the D0 to D4 drought phases. Uh, this time last year, 62%, which was also high. Average is about 46%. So again, very, very dry. Driest in uh, nine years nationally uh, to date uh, for terms of drought. Uh, second most drought coverage in 23 years. So again, I have to go back to 2013 to be almost identical to where we are right now. So again, very dry, and, and that is just a common theme um, uh, with a, a La Nina type cycle. Looking at this week here, the second week of January here, um, uh, a little bit of a moderation trend here. Two degrees cooler than last year, colds in three years, 15th warmest in 37 years. Cold spot's going to be the eastern half of the third of the country, uh, Great Lakes, uh, northeast, mid-Atlantic especially. 8% drier than last year, getting a little bit of a reprieve from the snow, driest in eight years, seventh driest in 37 years, so below average uh, rainfall. 40% less snow than last year, least in 12 years, second least in 37 years. Uh, we do have a system out there toward the weekend around Saturday in the Northeast. Uh, that may be the event of the week, uh, but again, we'll see here. It'll be a light to moderate event, uh, again, for the uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New points north into New England here for um, as we get toward the weekend. Look at snowfall. Now, this only takes us out through Friday, so it's going to miss that Saturday storm event. Uh, so right now, pretty low. Similar snowfall to last year, but that's 75% below average, third least in 37 years. So the next six days, a reprieve from the snow, a little bit of lake effect. Uh, not much in the northwest Rocky Mountains, but again, just um, a little bit of reprieve until we get to that uh, Saturday system uh, in the northeast. Next week here, again, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, um, 3.4 degrees cold in last year. We're going to get another chunk of the uh, little glancing shot of the polar vortex here. Coldest in three years, 17th coldest in 37 years. Again, back to below average national temperatures. East a little misleading. It's going to start off warm, but uh, again, a pretty big surge of cold weather will sweep the country uh, over the week. Um, so again, it may start off a little bit mild, uh, but then uh, end pretty cold. Uh, there is another potential for another snowstorm, a bigger one, uh, as the Mar week of Martin Luther King next week, uh, midweek in the Northeast. We'll see about that, uh, Midwest Ohio Valley Northeast. So it could be a big one, uh, need to watch it. 223% wetter than last year, wettest in three years, 17th wettest in 37 years, so above average national precip. And again, snowy in three years, ninth most in 37 years. So it looks like it's going to be a snowy week, uh, potentially for the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and especially into the interior Northeast. We'll see about the big cities here. It might be just, just inland of the Philly, New York uh, corridor. Looking at the uh, polar vortex here again, it's uh, still pretty symmetrical. When it's symmetrical, it just means that the cold air is bottled up at the North Pole. But you do see some little wobble perturbations that break off of this thing, and one of them's been toward Hudson Bay and the northeast. That's why we're going to pretty much be a generally cold. If there's going to be a cold spot in the U.S., it's going to be the Great Lakes, Midwest, Upper Midwest, uh, into the northeast New England area. Uh, other cold spot would be southwest Russia, parts of Asia. Again, so it looks like it gets a little more ragged toward the end of this 14-day uh, period here, wobbling. Um, so again, that's what you want to see. If you like cold and potentially snow, um, you'd like to see it continue to wobble like this. Look at the world two-week aggregate. Now, this is the next two weeks as a whole. Again, we can kind of see that colder trend here in uh, uh, kind of southeast Canada, northeastern U.S., Great Lakes, uh, cold spot maybe southwest Russia. So that's the two uh, minor breakoffs of the polar vortex uh, outside of the North Pole. Uh, Precip map is uh, inset left. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. Uh, we will be back here again this time next week.